need you for the old me, need you for my sanity. Hello everyone, Callie Storm Doll here, and today we have a very special review because we're in we're reviewing a toy from an indie toy company. Yes, this is Collectible Legends from Creatable Comics and Collectibles LLC. This is a company in Pennsylvania, and they are an up-and-coming toy company. So as you can see, it says um creative collectibles so creative comics collectibles there we go there you have casey hack you can kind of see the figure let me turn that light on there you go you get a better glimpse at the figure you can see her artwork in the back looks like she does come with some accessories here's the back of her packaging and it does have a read up it says casey hack Cassandra Cassie Hack is the lone survivor of an attack by a slasher called the Lunch Lady, a slasher that happens to be her own mother. Now she travels the world with her monstrous partner and friend Vlad, hunting down and destroying slashers wherever they find them. So these are some of the other figures. You can get a variant of Cassie Bloody, the Blue Beetle, and the Blue Beetle variants. That's their mission message on the back. It's pretty cool. See, they started in 2019. It's pretty, pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is open her up. So like anyone who's interested in keeping your cards, you can see Cassie Hack. I don't know if it's Casey or Cassie. Who knows at this point? But let's get out the figure. There she is out of her packaging. So there's her accessories. She comes with some hands we're gonna take a look at there's the figure so now that we have her out of her packaging let's look at those accessories and it looks like she comes with hands so she has um gloved hands that are open as you can see and she has gloved hands that are like a fist so we're going to test those out. She also comes with a weapon, which is a baseball bat with studs. I do like the fact that they went into detail with the studs, as you can see. Excuse my nails, you know. <laughs> yes, you can see they took some wash over there, so you can see that chain effect. And here is our figure. So, you know. I'm so happy that their final product does have two eyes because I felt like the prototype looked like she only had one eye. But let's go over her height. Let's see what this height is given. So it looks like she is, it looks like she might just be, let's see, I think five and a half inches. So she's under six inches. So she's a smaller figure. Um, but she does seem to come with a lot of points of articulation. So she has articulation at the head. She can look down and you can rotate around. Her hair is cut right at a point that it really doesn't affect her. You can move her at the shoulder. Her arms can go all the way up like that. She does have um, a small bend at the elbow. Very small, almost okay maybe arm supposed to go this way okay so she does have a little bit of a bend she does have wrist articulation and she also has um a swivel it looks like she has a cut right there so right here you can actually rock her side to side and front to back like that her skirt is a separate piece so if you want it so you can take it off and she has like gray shorts underneath or you can keep it on and it is just a separate piece so it does kind of move underneath you can see her um thighs are on ball joints she does have a thigh cut she has the double bend in the knee and her ankle is also on a ball joint so very interesting um <laughs> her fashion is very interesting but the reason i got her is because i'm creating like a um a team in in a um in a in a creepy city so she's actually joining the team so we're gonna get a close look at her face now we went over the articulation 
Her eyes are blue. She has on no makeup, it looks like, except the black lipstick. She doesn't have um, ears or anything under her hair, but her hair is just all black. You see it's like an all black wash. Her outfit is like a netted piece under this black crop top. She does have um, sleeves going down to her arms. They're kind of like long arm gloves. This is her skirt. All black. It has a little wash of gray in it. These are her thigh highs. You can see their different colors going all around. And going down to her boots. No holes in the bottom. So you cannot plug her in anywhere. So let's see how well she holds this bat. Okay, because it's really no... Okay, maybe it goes in this one. Because the other hand didn't have an opening, but this one does. It's actually not going into her hand. And that's because the bat is is really a really soft plastic. And it's her hands are hard. So I'm trying to... Okay, so it's in there now you can kind of wedge it in and work it in so now she's holding her bat see if we can get her into some cool position so now i'm going to switch out one of her hands kind of her she could be like hi there can you tell me where the closest gas station is <laughs> you know that's what she's kind of giving me like maybe she's kooky like a harley quinn or something like that mm -hmm. But overall, this is my review. Um, I think for their first like series run, this is okay. I think over time they can, you know, improve and everything like that. Like I enjoyed articulation. I think what I would have done differently, and I'm only saying this is because it's you know an indie company and you know there's room for improvement, is for the skirt piece, if they wanted to give her that separate piece appeal. Um, I'm actually going to create what I'm about to say. I'm going to get like, um, maybe a, a black sock or something like that. And I'm going to show you guys what could have, you know, been done by the company instead of this, because I get what they're doing. You know, they want her to kind of have, you know, the same sex appeal as the comic and things like that. But I think it would have been differently, even though I don't know what the cost would have been. If we would have went with a cloth skirt instead of a plastic skirt. I'll be right back. Alright everyone, we are back. And as you can see, I did remove Cassie's um, plastic skirt that she was wearing. And I gave her this striped skirt. I kind of felt like it kind of went with her. I wish I had all black material. Now what I did was... I simply slid her plastic skirt down her legs like I didn't have to really apply any pressure or anything. I just um, slid that down. And then what I used as her skirt is um, a half sock from a pull-up. So if you guys are familiar with pull-up dolls, this is one of their half socks that didn't go all the way down. And um, because Cassie does have a little bit of a curve... I did have to go up the back with a little red stitching, but I felt like it kind of complemented the look of her a little bit because the character I'm creating her or the reason I got her figure, I needed her to be kind of like a, a boss in the streets, you know, and I kind of felt like this skirt kind of just gave not really a boss vibe, kind of like a worker. So I want, I needed her to be a little bit more hardcore, um, something else that kind of sucks is by her having such a slight bend in her arm it's a little tough to get her to hold her back but i do feel like that's something that could be fixed with time i'm loving this figure so far and i'm glad that she was me so i want to give a shout out to the company creative comics and collectibles llc i think this figure is so cool so thank you again for everyone who watched. If you have any questions about who she is or the comic she comes from, you can um, leave me questions in a comic um, in a comment section below. But the series she comes from is called Hack Slash, 
um just like the back said it's about her her partner and they fight monsters and things like that but stay to the end because i'm definitely gonna give you guys some cool photos i want to thank you guys for watching today and i will see you in my next video now before i go um the little team that i'm putting together i'm gonna show you guys really quickly is um so now we have cassie who i i'm gonna have her be like um you know like the street agent of it we also have this figure darby that i got from ringside ringside collectibles um so he's also a part of the group and then we have the punisher who's actually the leader of the group now what's interesting about this is i do want to add i want to add um some more figures and i want to add another girl i'm thinking of getting that um live live figure from ringside collectibles now she is 35 dollars click the link in the box below if you want to help the girl get her but um yes i definitely want that figure um and I think she's going to be so cool. And I'll have like my Night City because I'm making like my own little version of a comic. And I'll have like my Night City ghouls. Because the idea I'm, I'm creating is that, you know, people look down on these guys because they live in the streets. But they actually help people in their own twisted way. And guys, I'm loving it. So I'm still working on the idea, still getting different characters and things a part of the team. But like i said if you guys want to help click the um link in the description box below and subscribe click that notification bell so that you don't miss a review because i will see you on my next video bye you must follow my instruction go forward Discover only hurts for a